That's awesome. What, if you don't mind me asking, giving a breakdown on the heads you use, what heads do you feel most comfortable with that give you the sound that you like to use? Uh, well, I use uh, the Aquarian drum heads, and I use the single ply heads. They're, um, they're coated, and they're just regular single ply heads, with the exception of uh, the snare drum. The snare drum is again coated, and that's a double ply head. Uh, for me, I'm a, pretty, I'm a pretty hard hitter, which engineers love because the mics don't have to work as hard. You know, they, they, they put the faders up, and, and it's there. Uh, but for the snare drum, because I am so heavy handed, I like having a little, a little thicker head, it holds the tuning better for me. Very cool. And on the toms, do you use the same heads on the bottom as you do on the top? Same heads on the bottom, but I tune the bottom heads one third up from the tuning I have on, on top. And I tune different than most rock drummers. Most rock drummers tend to tune lower, you know, the mid to lower. And I tune, I tune higher up. And that really came from how my ear was trained. My father wasn't a musician, but he loved jazz, swing, big band. So the first two records he ever gave me, uh, he gave me a Miles Davis record, and he gave me a Buddy Rich record. And what happened is, my, my ear was tuned to the organic sound that those drums have, because oftentimes they use one, maybe two microphones. Right. And so you had to pitch the kit up so that it would be above the bass, and then just below maybe the horns, you know, but in the same range as some of the um, higher keys on the piano. And my ear got tuned to that, so I always tune higher than most drummers. Very interesting. Let's switch now to something a little more on the personal side of your life. Um, I know that you have a lot of involvement with our canine counterparts. Can you please talk about the work that you do with that? Yeah, it's not just, it's ca it's not just canines, it's cats. Um, oh, okay. There's a huge problem in, in the world, but especially in America, where people are not neutering or spaying their pets and pets are running rampant and then people are just buying uh, uh, pets from puppy mills which is really tragic and sad if they only knew what those dogs go through to produce these animals. And a lot of time the animals come with a lot of problems, both physically and psychologically. So I'm a very big advocate of, of adopt, don't shop. And you know, our, our shelters are filled with, with these wonderful animals and hundreds, if not thousands, are dying every single day because there's no place for them. And that's, that's a very tragic situation. So I try to um, bring awareness up by posting as much as I can of all these different pets that are available. Uh, you know, all our pets are adopted. We have, we have four cats and two dogs. And they enrich my life. I could have the single worst day of my life and come home and I see these guys running around the house and all of that just fades. And you can't, you can't put a price on that. I agree. I grew up with animals. Um, I currently, my wife and I, we have two cats, and she gets nervous because she sees me as that old man that would have 20 cats in the house if I could. Right. And she doesn't want to step around 20 cats, even though she's a cat lover. But I think the work you do with that is great. Um, right here on the screen is information on how you can learn more about that and get involved as well as all this Frankie Benali's contact information. Thank you so much for joining us here on Drum Talk TV. It's really been a pleasure getting to know you and finally sit down and do this. Thanks for having me, I appreciate it. You've got a great show, I watch it and I learn. Every time I watch a show, I learn something, so that's a gift. Great, thank you very much. Stay tuned for more great episodes with more great drummers here on Drum Talk TV. I'm Dan Schinder with Frankie Benali. See you soon.